Welcome to Ascending BC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is James. Um, I work as a front-end engineer at Ascending. Um, yeah, today I will demonstrate how to integrate uh, federated sign-ins with um, AWS Cognito uh, using AWS's Amplify library. So as a reminder, in our previous video, uh, we set up Amazon Cognito as a service for managing and authenticating the identities of users and authorizing these users to access our uh, backend resources. So uh, you can provide Amazon Cognito with identities directly through Cognito user pools uh, and by allowing your users to sign up, or um, you can federate um, identities through an external provider, which uh, could be an already supported social identity provider such as Google, Amazon, Apple, and Facebook, or um, you could use a, a custom identity provider um, that follows SA, ML, or OpenID standards. So um, today um, I'll be demonstrating uh, authentication of a federated identity. So um, let's start with um, the Amplify library. So if you aren't familiar with um, AWS Amplify, it's a, a bundle of tools and services that developers can use for building uh, full stack applications that run on AWS's cloud services. Um, and it also provides open source libraries that allow developers to interact with the back end of their applications. So in our case, uh, we will need to use this Amplify authentic authentication library to interface with uh, Cognito. And um, today I will be de demonstrating on integrating um, with web code, uh, specifically on the React.js framework. But um, Amplify supports not only multiple frameworks besides React.js, but also many mobile platforms such as iOS and Android. So um, you will first need to install Amplify using um, your relevant package manager, uh, which will be NPM in our case. So right now I will enter the command to install the Amplify package, which is um, just AWS Amplify if you're using NPM. And uh, make sure you, uh, you add the save option to save it to your uh, package.json. Yeah, so once you do that, um, you'll have to go to your application's entry point, uh, which for a React application is the index file. And um, yeah, you have to import it. Um, as you can see from this import statement here, I've imported Amplify. and um, once you do that, you have to also configure it in this entry point. So as you can see here from the statement, I've uh, configured it um, with a reference configuration file, which uh, is right here. So you will need to provide information to your configuration, such as um, your AWS Cognito region, uh, your user pool ID, and um, your user pool web client. And uh, you also need um, other uh, OAuth or app client settings, such as um, your sign-in redirect or callback URL, um, your sign-out redirect URL, um, what response type you're expecting, and uh, the domain of uh, your Cognito service, as well as um, your OAuth authentication scopes. So on your AWS console, you can find the AWS Cognito region and a user pool ID on the first page of your Cognito user pool management page. Uh, which is right here. As you can see uh, from this ID, um, yeah, it includes your AWS region. So in this case, uh, US East 1 um, would be the Cognito region or AWS region. As for um, web client ID and uh, other OAuth settings, uh, you will need to navigate to the app integration section 
And um, under this, you need, you'll need to click on the page for app client settings. So if you have not set up an app client, uh, make sure to do so as demonstrated in our previous uh, video um, as because one will be required for integration. So your user, um, your app client ID will be uh, shown here right under the title of your app client. Um, and here are the fields for your callback URLs and your sign, up, sign out URLs. Um, these URLs just pertain to where um, your browser will redirect the user after uh, signing out or uh, a failed sign in. As for your um, domain name, you'll need to go to the domain um, page under the app integration section. And um, right here, um, you'll find the domain name and you will not need to include the HTTPS um, colon slash slash, it will just be the, the domain name without that. So um, now you have all the information you need for authentication, um, for uh, configuring your authentication for Amplify. Um, you may need to provide more or less information depending on your specific use case. But in this instance, for a simple federated login, this will be all the information you'll need in your configuration. Um, so now go to wherever in your application where you'll be doing a federated sign-in. And make sure you uh, have imported Amplify's authentication library, as you can see uh, from the statement here. So now you have to use the method or function required to initiate a federated sign-in as documented uh, for the library for your relevant platform. In our case, it, it is a federated sign-in. And um, so now I will show you a basic default federated sign-in that directs you through the hosted UI. As you've seen, if you don't pass any parameters um, to your API function, the expected behavior is that the user will be brought to an interface that's hosted on your AWS Cognito service, uh, where, where they will be offered to uh, select which provider they'd like to sign in with before uh, they're directed to the external provider, like so. So, um, and this happens regardless of uh, whether your app client supports more than one provider or not. So, to bypass this hosted UI and um, direct the user straight to the external provider, you will need to provide some parameters, which uh, will be an options object in our case, um, where, where we are using Amplify library for the web platform. And um, the parameter you need to pass may depend on, you know, whether you are, you're using an already supported social identity provider, such as, you know, Google, Amazon, Apple, or Facebook, or using a custom SAML or OpenID identity provider. Um, so in my case, um, if I was using an already supported social identity provider, such as maybe Google, I would uh, pass in an options object um, with the following field and value. So I have an object here with the field provider and um, value just a simple string um, with Google as the content. Um, but you know, if I was using a custom SML, SAML provider, which I am in this uh, demonstration, I would use um, a different field and value. So the object I would pass in would um, have the field custom, custom provider instead of uh, simply provider. And um, the value I'd pass in is um, what you have labeled for that um, custom provider on your uh, user pool page. So in my case, it would be ascending. And um, to find uh, this value, if you don't know what it is, um, you'll have to go to your user pool page. And um, in, uh, in the federation section under identity providers, uh, you, you should uh, click um, the standard you are using for your custom identity provider. And uh, it'll show you um, the list of active uh, providers you have provided for that standard. Um, so yeah, here um, we have one custom provider called Ascending. So yeah, I just have I've passed that um, 
as an object to the API method. So now when a sign-in is initiated, um, the user should be uh, brought directly to the identity provider instead of intermittently through the hosted UI. Like so, as you can see, uh, we were brought directly to the identity provider, which uh, in our case is Microsoft Azure. And uh, yeah, now you can sign in. Um, so now a simple federated sign-in with AWS Cognito has been integrated with the AWS Amplify library. Uh, so you can find this example project uh, in the video description at the following repository. And um, yeah, today I've demonstrated this on the web platform on the React.js framework. But you know, while the general application of this remains the same, um, the API functionality may still slightly differ depending on which framework and platform you are working with. So um, you should probably refer to the Amplify library documentation for your relevant framework or platform for uh, more specific details. And uh, if you'd like to watch more videos like this, please comment below and stay tuned for our showcase video. Yeah, see you. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.